Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and here in YouTube Nobis Epic Fantasy and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a telescope and this is the telescope we make. Wonderful, wonderful project. Of all the subjects I love, I love telescopes and astronomy the most. Nothing compares to a dark, rich, starry sky. Um, the heart of a telescope like this is the mirror. So yeah, this is an 8 inch mirror, 8 inches in diameter and I'll show you how to make all of this. Everything. This is part one, the optical tube assembly. In part two, I will make the stand for it to go on. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, rattle boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to make a telescope, a reflector telescope, and I'm going to show you in a way that you can make just about any size telescope you want. You don't have to have the exact same size mirror that I have. So there are four major components to our reflector telescope like this. There's the main mirror, the little mirror, which is called the secondary, the focuser eyepiece, and some kind of a structure to hold it all together. In the case of our telescope, we're using a cardboard tube. And we're going to fiberglass it to make it strong. And this is what happens with the telescope. The light comes in, bounces off our primary mirror, off our secondary, and out the eyepiece so we can focus it and see the image. And here's the parts we, we have. The little secondary mirror, our 8 inch primary mirror, which is a beautiful. See how much bigger than your eye that is? It gathers a lot of light. And here's the tube. It's a 10 inch quick read tube. You can buy it at any home improvement store. It's used for like concrete forming and stuff like that. It costs like five bucks, I think, eight bucks, something like that. But it's bigger than the mirror, so the mirror will fit in it. So in order to make our telescope, we've got to understand a little bit about that mirror. There's a flat mirror, and here is a telescope mirror. And there's a difference between the two. With a flat mirror that you're used to, like in your bathroom, the light comes in, bounces off the mirror, and goes straight back, exactly the way it came out. With the telescope mirror, the shape of that is a parabola, and that means that the light is direction is changed and comes to a focus. And see how much bigger it is than your eyeball? It gathers a lot of light, and that's the beauty of a telescope. So now that light comes in, and it bounces to a place called the focal point, right there. That's important. We need to know that distance from the mirror to that focal point so we can uh, make our telescope. And this is what happens. The light comes in, bounces off that mirror, it is focused, it bounces off that secondary mirror, and then out the side of the tube to right about here is where we want our eyepiece. So we need to build the telescope to this size so this all lines up correctly. Right there. So we measure that out, and how do we measure out that focal length? Well, it's kind of easy. You use a piece of cardboard or a sheet of paper or something like that, and the light bulb lined up with it, right on the same plane. See, they're parallel right next to each other. And then you put your telescope mirror a distance away, and the distance away doesn't yet matter. We're going to adjust it. So what will happen is the light will bounce off that bulb, and then it will focus a perfect image of the bulb on your piece of paper. And that is two times our focal length. That's twice the distance we need for our telescope. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll show you. It's, kind of, it's, it's really kind of interesting. See, there's our focal length. Right there, that's the number we need, that distance. And it's half the, over, the total distance, easy to find. So I've got my light bulb and my plane right like that, my uh, sheet of foam board. Of course, I, I have foam board. And I've got my mirror on a little mount I made out of foam board. Yeah. And then you move it back and forth until that bulb comes into sharp image. It actually looks like the light bulb. Let's take a closer look. See, now this isn't the video. It's actually fuzzy until it comes into a sharp focus like that. And you can actually even read the letters on the bulb. So now wherever the mirror is, that distance is our 2x. And look, it works really well on these um, fluorescent bulbs too. 
See how sharp that is? It's amazing. So what is that distance? For our mirror, it's 58 inches. From that surface to our mirror, that's 58 inches right there. So what do we need? We need half of that. It's 29 inches is our focal length right there. Easy enough. Now we can build the tube, cut, the, cut and build the tube. So it's 29 inches from here. You add to that mirror and that's it, 29 inches. So let's start building. We're going to make the tube right like this. We're gonna put some holes in it. We're gonna fiberglass it for strength, paint it, and put a hole in it there for the focuser. So I've done my measurements. Now I'm going to cut it nice and straight. And then I'm going to fiberglass it. Now this is optional, but if you want your telescope to last many years and to be nice and strong, fiberglass is a good option. And always wear your safety gear. I'm wearing a respirator. Fiberglass is a resin and a hardener. I poured the resin in, now I'm pouring in the hardener. And there are specific directions on how much you add. And now here comes the fiberglass. So you, you mix it up and you've got about 10 minutes to work it. So you make small batches. And I was like, oh, I gotta do fiberglass. I never did it before, but it's not that hard. It's, but it is messy and be safe with it. Fiberglass is a cloth of glass fibers. You put it on. And then you apply the uh, resin, just like that. And in about two hours, it's hardened. And you don't have to do it in one piece. You can do it in sections. Cut a piece of fiberglass, put it on, cut a piece, put it on. But I got a nice piece here that was big enough to do the whole telescope in one piece. So that's it. We have done fiberglass. Don't be afraid of it, but be safe. Once it dries, you trim it. And then sand it, 80 grit. And notice the pink thing I'm wearing, or a purple, is that pink? That's like a purple pink. That is a respirator, cost about $25. Whenever you work with fiberglass, whether it be the mixing of it or the sanding of it, wear a respirator. It's good safety. But I'm happy how it came out. Nice, strong telescope tube. The fiberglass stuff cost me about 25 bucks, I think. And then we know our measurements. I measured and cut out a two inch hole for my focuser. And then I drilled holes to mount the focuser. <coughs> and tested it to make sure everything fit right. But this is the way it's gonna go. But we don't wanna mount it right now because we wanna paint it. So go ahead and paint the inside of the tube a flat black. And this is good for starlight. It'll help reduce um, reflection and distortion or anything like that. And then paint the outside of the tube any color you want. White is a good option. Red is a great option for astronomers because it doesn't um, affect your light sensitivity of your eyes. So now the tube is done. Let's make the mirror mount. And the mirror mount is kind of special because it's got these little spring-loaded loaded screws on it. So we can adjust those. We want all the optics in the telescope to be lined up nice. These screws allow, screws allow us to tilt the mirror in any direction and line everything up perfectly. So we're gonna cut two discs of wood. And this is, I believe, half inch plywood. The first disc is the size of the tube to fit inside like this. See that? And once you've got that two, that disc cut, cut another hole in the center of it so you can handle it easy. See, see how I've got my fingers in there? And then drill four holes around the circumference of it for screws. And this is so we can mount it in later. And don't mount it in now, just drill and test those holes. Four screw holes.
Let's go ahead and make the rest of them out. We need a second disc the size of the mirror. So I cut that out. So that's it for the plywood work, just those two discs. And then we have some hardware, some brass bolts for rust, so they never rust, some washers and some nuts, and some springs. And we're going to assemble together the two um, plywood discs with, the, with all that hardware. And on my website, I have a list of the exact hardware. If you want more specific instructions on all of this, uh, go to the link to my website and, and you'll get a lot more information. If you really want to build a telescope, not just learn how one's made. See, now I drilled out three holes and I countersunk the three holes on the small disc so the um, bolts there would sit flush. And I'll show you why they want to sit flush. Those are flathead bolts and they sit flush, I'll show you. So now let's assemble it together. You put the bolt through the hole and then you put a washer and a nut and lock it in tight. Then you put a spring and another washer and that's it, repeat that process for the other two bolts. Now this causes a mechanism that you can adjust with um, wing nuts. Uh, I'll show you that. And you put the large disc right on top of that. Feeding it through the holes. You put a washer and a wing nut. So now you can see with the springs you can adjust these wing nuts in any direction and it will turn that mirror in any direction you need so we can do something called collimating. Lining up the mirror perfectly with the rest of the telescope. So the mirror goes on there and you can see now why we had the flat head counter board, counter sunk um, bolts. Now we need to clamp it down <clears throat> and in a way that we could always take it off if we ever need to clean the mirror. So I, I made cut these small pieces out of um, steel see it like a little latch and I mounted velcro soft velcro on the inside to protect the mirror and then screw those on the edge like this and that's it this is the hardest part I guess probably the mirror mount is done so now that can go, don't put it in the telescope now, but that will go in the telescope and you can use those wing nuts to adjust the mirror. Now we're going to make this. This is the secondary mirror. This is how the light bounces off the big mirror and out the side of the tube into the eyepiece. Really, really simple. Um, three lengths of threaded rod, 832 threaded rod, some nuts, and a wooden dowel, one inch wooden dowel. Cut the wooden dowel, it's about two inches long and one end of it is cut at a 45 degree angle. And then I drilled three holes in it around it, the circumference of it, and you'll see where those holes are. Just like that, see the three holes so it's like that? So the threaded rod can go in there. Now this is going to go into the tube and you have to measure where that 45 degree angle is so it is centered on the eyepiece focuser and down low enough so it's correct so the light comes off the primary mirror bounces at a 90 degree angle off of that mirror and into your eyepiece so glue your second we glue the secondary mirror Onto it, I'm using a five minute epoxy. And there is a right way and a wrong way to glue that mirror on. It's an elliptical mirror. And then we put it in. And now with these threaded rods like this, we are able to move that mirror around and lock it in place so it's centered. It's centered nicely and it 
projects that image right to this through the center of that eyepiece. Very nice. See it? This is what we want. The mirror is in there. You can see everything's centered. The light is centered. That's the mirror. The black dot is centered. That's the reflection of the secondary mirror. Everything's nicely centered. But that's a column. That's something called collimation. And you um, do that collimation by making some adjustments. I'll, I'll show you. So here we go. Here's how we collimate. Um, now you can put the mirror in and lock it in place with your four screws. So we wait until the last minute to put the mirror in to keep it safe. We don't want to be juggling a telescope around and drilling it and working on it. So now these three wing nuts, you adjust those and you look in the eyepiece and you can see how the mirror will tilt. And then you adjust these threaded and you also adjust these threaded rods to move that secondary mirror into any position to get everything centered up nicely. And see now everything is centered nicely. The focus centered, the mirror is centered, the secondary mirror is centered, everything's beautiful. You take it with this and you'll understand it and you'll get a good look at it. So that's it. We've built a telescope, an 8-inch Newtonian reflector. Wonderful project. I've been dying to do this project for a long time. I'm so happy that I finally got the time to make, to make it. Um, part 2 will be making the, the mount for it that you put this telescope on. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.